we are honored to introduce three generations of the Kelly family as they share their story of leadership and generosity in our community. <laughs> this is old timer. I call him old timer, he calls me old timer. <laughs> Cities all over the country right now are facing th the problem of affordable housing. I think it's, it's a big issue, um, especially coming out of the recession. Wages are stagnant. 54,000 households in Columbus need affordable housing and don't have it. My wife and I are active over to Holy Spirit Church in providing in the St. Vincent Paul Society. And it's, it's case after case after case. It's, it's no housing. Single women in particular, with two and three kids, no place to live. We've seen between 2010 and 2014, the number of homeless families has gone up 50%. And Columbus ranks pretty high on uh, the list of most economically segregated <coughs> cities. Those of you with families look around, look how important the house is for you. Look how important it is not to be strapped to make the mortgage payment when the time comes. So it's how important it is to put food on the table. Now think about somebody who doesn't have those blessings. Um, what obligation or duty is there to help make that available to somebody else? Generosity itself is developmental. Uh, it's not static. It's something that grows and develops. And what develops and grows is the motivation for giving. I'm intrigued by the relationship between giving and receiving. I, uh, I had the misfortune of becoming disabled at the age of 48 from a massive stroke. Now at that time, I considered myself a giver as it related to my children, my family, I was going to do for others. I did for others. They didn't do for me. Well, when you have a stroke and you're disabled, that attitude doesn't work anymore. So I had to learn to receive. I was stationed in Kaiserslautern, in Germany, and Christmas time came. This was 1951. I was kind of feeling low, not knowing exactly what to do. And I remember attending Mass one Sunday right before that Christmas. And the priest that said to Mass, I walked to him afterwards and said, does anyone around here need any help? And I knew they did because Germany was down at that time. It was just after World War II and they, they were in a bad shape. And I said, let's go get this family. The priest picked them out, told them the time we would come. And we went out and bought some groceries for that family and a nice bottle of cognac for the old man. So we climbed up three stories up to this tenement house and they come to the door and they just were grateful to see us. Now they didn't speak a word of English and I didn't speak very much German. So the communication was on a pretty deep level. But they just loved that groceries and that, that old man's eyes lit up when he saw that bottle of cognac. And I'll never forget that. And walking back from there, that furthered in me a sense of generosity and I think it gave me a perspective, a broader perspective on, on the value of people in need. And not to judge their behavior, but to consider them as a person. If you look around Columbus, the real estate industry seems to have a lot of family businesses involved. A lot of very successful family businesses. Now that's the perfect formula for people to get adopt a cause because it gets folks away from just the focus on on business and opens up the family to the community it's a it's a broadening experience it's a very important one so family businesses that are not doing that i think are missing an opportunity it's even more important here in columbus for organizations like homeport to respond to the need but i also think that Columbus has the opportunity to be a leader, and, and Homeport has the opportunity to be a leader in figuring out how best to address that problem. And I've, since I've been on the board less than a year, I've, I've been very, very inspired by what I've seen. I think it's, the board is very strong. I think 
the staff at Homeport is very talented, and I think they're up to, to meet that challenge. Wealth is not just calculated by what you have at the bank. There's a certain poverty and inability or unwillingness to reach out and help others.